Welcome to Spiritual Boot Camp for Overcomers. Pastors Mary and Ron Book from Breakout Ministries in uh, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We're excited to be with you. Mm -hmm. uh, we do this seminar uh, locally in churches, and uh, we have really appreciated our opportunity to share the things of kingdom with the people of God. Uh, this is 35 years of us working inner healing and deliverance and really trying to work on our stuff because Jesus said we were complete in Him and yet many times we go days and weeks and months and still have to work on things where SIN might become involved. If we're still sinning in a certain area of our life, we need to do something about it and I believe that's the work of the Holy Spirit. Uh, what Spiritual Boot Camp for Overcomers is, is really a kind of a method to move into a more intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit. Uh, we talk about what's on your screen and the real deal. Some of these things you'll hear as we begin going through the program. But we've been excited because we just came back from Africa. The second time we've taught in Africa, we're teaching pastors in another continent how to do this. And I really believe that this is a very, very important part of the daily life of how to live with Christ and stay free once you get free. Pastor Mary, let's talk a little bit about what boot camp is and where it came from. Okay, well, uh, for a number of years I pastored a church and we believe in inner healing. So we'd have people come up for prayer week after week for the same, for the same dynamic in their life, for the same challenge or the same sin that they were caught in. And you know, one day I was in a prayer group with a, with a group of us, of our ladies, and we were praying and I was asking the Lord, Lord, what do we do? to make a difference? How do we impact these individuals who are, who are really having a difficult time breaking through and, and getting the victory? And as I was sitting in prayer, and we were all um, seeking the Lord on this, uh, the Lord gave me this passage of scripture. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And that's John 8, 32. So the question became, what part of the truth are people missing that they're not able to anchor their thoughts and anchor their heart and anchor their actions in that causes them to continue to sin and continue to be caught up in this, what we're, we began to refer to as a stronghold. So we identified four main strongholds as we began to bring this before the Lord in prayer. And uh, the four strongholds were trauma, generational curses, soul ties, and finally the demonic. And oftentimes we discovered that these strongholds were intertwined with each other. And so really getting to the root of what it was that was causing a person to continually misfire, to continually fall or struggle with this particular stronghold was because we hadn't got to what we refer to as the real deal. What was the root of that particular issue that caused them con to continue to become involved in this sin? Really, over time, the beginning of our church was, uh, we called it the church of the heart, or the, and we always looked at motives. And so it wasn't easy to be in our church because everyone was considering what your motive was and why are you doing what you're doing. Uh, I think that's an important part of First John, where we're, we're getting the word that we're supposed to be in fellowship, rub shoulders with each other, and then that's how we could be in the light and that the blood could cover mm -hmm. us. And so... Through this process, then, we find the Holy Spirit is the number one uh, directional method, the number one counselor, the number one uh, restorer of our hearts. And so we need to be intimate with Holy Spirit. So Spiritual Boot Camp for Overcomers is about watching what the information that's on a screen. We talk about having a screen and we look at the screen every day and Jesus, through the Holy Spirit's direction, is delivering to us what we need to know about ourselves. And so as we clean ourselves up then, we become more kingdom worthy to actually talk, talk uh, the kingdom speak. You know, the word of God, the, the freedom that you have is what you can offer to others. Right. And as we are being made free by the truth, as we get more truth in us, then we become effective in our witness. And we also become effective as an instrument of the Holy Spirit to deliver the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ and kingdom freedom. Amen. Well, Hebrews 4.12 says, For the word of God is sharp, is quick and powerful and sharper 
than any two-edged sword and is even able to pierce or divide asunder uh, between soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So as a Christian, we have the Holy Spirit and we rely on the Holy Spirit to begin to show us. And that's what Pastor Ron was saying earlier, what's on our screen? If you take a look at a television, there's always something going on that screen. So the Holy Spirit is active in our lives and because he's active in our lives, he's always bringing to our remembrance things that we need to address. And sometimes we don't always pay attention to what's on our screen, right? Well. I've learned that. You learn that when you're married. You do learn how to watch your screen because really it's our reflection. As we look into the truth, we get a reflection back. And who are we in this hour? Uh, getting free and staying free is about spiritual warfare, and that's really what boot camp is all about. When we teach uh, the following of Holy Spirit through what's on your screen, what's happening is he's giving us information daily, minute by minute, and he always shows us the way out. This is all scriptural, shows us the exit strategy. He shows us things to come. He leads us and guides us into all truth. And if we keep embracing the truth, then we will experience freedom. And the freedom is from the Word of God. Uh, many people have not taken advantage of this in their, in their Christian life. Uh, we teach this as a lifestyle, the overcoming or the boot camp lifestyle. We call it the overcoming lifestyle. Right. Really what we're talking about here is if you're born of God, then God's called you to overcome. And so overcoming is, is the plan, purpose uh, for our lives. But then as we overcome all things, we become uh, good examples or we show good fruit that Jesus Christ is alive and he's in us right now. And so as we go through this boot camp pr principle, uh, as we work these things in our lives every day, Jesus is bringing things up. Because the Word of God says that the Holy Spirit's job is to reprove the world of sin. And what's happening is, every day Holy Spirit is exposing sin. So the most important thing is, is for each individual Christian to see the exposed sin, get rid of it, clean it up, overcome, and then go into uh, really maturity or clarity in this, that where there's no more confusion about this, where the Word of God is situated deep in our hearts, and then when people look at us, they see Jesus. Amen. And I think that's the important thing about uh, what boot camp really is. Mm -hmm. It is this relationship with the Holy Spirit where you are actively engaged in intimacy. And because of that, you find the path of life that day. You find peace that day. Right. You overcome your own thoughts. You learn, we'll talk a little bit later about how important it is to be transformed by the renewing of Amen. our mind. Uh, I love the Word of God. There'll, there'll be so much Word in this that you can just say, wow, it's not another gospel, but what it is, is putting some things together. We had a seminar last week, and a guy, 30 years in the kingdom, and he's sitting there, and he's just sitting there going like this, like think, wow, I mean, are you kidding me? And then he came up to me after the meeting, and he said, you know, this is what the Holy Spirit's been teaching me my whole life yeah. for 30 years but I just never saw it packaged this way and thinking about it this way and this concept, but this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing on a daily basis. I just smiled because, you know, it's been 35 years for us, well, actually 40, and it works all the time and it keeps getting us cleaner and freer and, you know, more peace comes with all that. 